what I was drawn most to you is that you love stories and I love stories. I love the power of stories. I love hearing people's voices. I love the connection and all of that. And so when you first, um, cause you didn't start out with your career in therapy, you started out exploring cultures and people and stories, right? Right. Okay. Right. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah. So I, I took a very circuitous route to becoming a therapist. Um, and if you had asked me when I was a child, if I would become a therapist, when I grew up, I would have laughed at you. Um, not because I wasn't interested in, in people and the human condition and psychology, more that I was a reader. I was a really avid reader. I loved story. And, um, you know, so I, I ended up when I, when I was in college, I studied literature and then I ended up um, being really interested in story as told on screen. So I started working in film and then I went to ne network television. Um, I got to NBC the year that ER and Friends premiered. So it was, it was sort of the beginning of the rise of television. Um, and, um, and, and I just love story, but when I was working on ER, we were we had a consultant in the emergency room who was an actual ER doctor, and I loved the real stories. I would hang out there, I would uh, be there for you know research, um, but I just was so moved by everything I saw by these real human stories. And so I ended up going to medical school, and when I got to medical school, I was told there was this new thing called managed care, which meant that all of the, the ways that I wanted to be a doctor were going to be very hard. I wanted to have these very, um, I wanted to be sort of the family doctor who guides people through their lives, through the stories of their lives. And um, that seemed really difficult in this new environment. And so I started writing when I was up there and I left to become a journalist. And it was later, I'm still a journalist. So I never left writing. Um, I, I simply added therapy to it. I, I had a baby. I needed to, um, I remember the, the UPS guy would come and I needed to talk to other adults during the day, <laughs> as any new parent might relate to. And, and every time the UPS guy would come and he was our UPS guy. So like, it was, you know, it was like, oh, hi, you know, and, and, um, and I would sort of detain him, you know, like, how's the weather? Do you have kids? And, and he would like back away to his big brown truck. He like wanted nothing to do with like this like lonely mother who needed someone to talk to. And, um, but we actually became friends later on. And um, I decided that I, I called up the Dean at the medical school and I said, maybe I should come back to medical school and do psychiatry. And she said, you're welcome to come back, but do you really want to do that with a baby, with a toddler? Um, and, also psychiatry is a lot about medication management. And she suggested that I get a graduate degree in clinical psychology and do the kind of work that I've always wanted to do. And that's the very long story of how I became a therapist and continued to be a writer because I have a hybrid career, I do both. 